get to our guests. We're joined by Shahzad Poonawala, national spokesperson of the BJP, Mohammad Tawseef Rehman, spokesperson of the TMC, and Chandan Ghosh Chaudhary, spokesperson of the Congress. Uh, Tawseef, I'll come to you first because this is concerning your state, West Bengal. Six dead, bombs being found in public, uh, violence across uh, so many districts right ahead of the panchayat elections, uh, people fearing for their lives, you know, public property being vandalized. The High Court has ordered the deployment of central forces to control the law and order situation. Why are you opposing it? Well, uh, you have to understand the opposing. It's a, it's a democratic right, you know. Like uh, previously also from 2013, 2016, 2019, 2021, BJP always wanted to create a ruckus in Bengal. As I'm saying continuously, it is very sad whatever happening in Bengal and it is not entertaining at all that I will blame Subhendu Adhikari or Narendra Modi or Amit Shah and then the opposition will blame Mamta Banerjee and ask her to resign. But the thing is that how to control over this and there has been put a special meeting by Mamta Banerjee and the whole team that whether it's a TMC cadre, BJP cadre, Congress cadre, ISF cadre or whatsoever, action needs to be taken. But ironically, and it's very sad to see that we have got some seats and we have seen some contestant where they have literally they have appealed that I am an independent candidate backed by BJP, ISF, Congress and CPM. Now, sir, if you see if this four political party stands together and want to create a ruckus, a massacre in Bengal, now it's need to be stopped. But isn't that unfair? And end of the day, all these bombs, these guns and mishaps having, uh, happening in Bengal and the whole blame will go to the ruling government. It is not fair at all. But I am not backing out. It is absolutely It's your responsibility. It's a yes. very simple thing, Tosif. It's your responsibility to ensure of course there is, is peace. Us. Of your, course it is Your us. party but is now know, in power for the third time in West Bengal. Why That's does good. this continue? Nee, of course it is. We are not backing out. You know, when we, when we were talking about nomination, like from past three days, not past three days also, like since the election got declared, Suvendu Adhikari and his whole team, the whole BJP pattern, they're all only crying about that, bhai, hum to nomination bhari nahi sakte. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you a thing. Like, have you ever heard that 2.31 lakh nomination have been filled in any other state? Over 1.5 lakh nominations have been filed by opposition parties alone, yet you are claiming that they were not being able to file nomination. Isn't that unfair? So I want to ask BJP like what they want to do. Do they really want to malign the image of Bengal? I'm asking continuously. Right. Why let's, let's get a reaction from the BJP. Tosif, let's get a reaction from the BJP. Yes. Shahzad Poonawala is here. Shahzad, this pitch coming in from the TMC that you're maligning the image of West Bengal because so many nominations have been registered when it comes to the panchayat elections. Your reaction to that? No, the absolute credit for maligning the image of Rabindranath Tagore's Bengal should lie squarely with the TMC because ever since they've come to power, they have ensured the institutionalization of political violence where TMC, Talibani minded and culture government has come into place, which ensures that Mahamati Manush is now bomb, balti and blast. How are these bombs being found? Forget who's planting them. It's your job that no bombs are found. It's your job to ensure that bombs don't get placed or explode. TMC workers have had bombs in their house exploding in the middle. And let's assume what that we are doing have? this. Now, Mr. Tosif, you know, you have a very bad habit of interrupting. You have to listen to the other side. That's how democracies work. Unfortunately, this is not a TMC local meeting. Now, let me complete what I say and then you can come in. Let's assume for a moment that the Congress and the BJP, the Congress is at zero seats, the BJP is at 77 seats. We are together manufacturing this conspiracy. Then, sir, please tell me that why are you going and meeting and hobnobbing and sitting in the Congress's lap on 23rd? You should at this moment declare immediately that this Congress party, which is hand in glove with the BJP, we have no truck with them on 23rd of June. And now you're saying that the Congress is uh, maligning us, the BJP is maligning us. Thirdly, sir, is the court also maligning you when they order the deployment of central forces? Is the court maligning you when they say there's no rule of law but law of the ruler? Is the court maligning you after post-poll violence? Is the court maligning you in the Supreme Court observations on the 2018 Panchayati poll violence? Name one election or one event or one year in West Bengal where there hasn't been pol political violence. 150 workers killed. Ram Nami violence takes place. What does the chief minister do? She gives a clean shit to one side. Jai Shri Ram is chanted by somebody. She puts them in jail. Abhishek Banerjee chases people because they shout a slogan while his convoy is passing. Wow. And forget us, forget the BJP. Is Adhiranjan Chaudhary also hand in glove with the BJP? If that is so, please let me know on the show. 